It is wonderful to see so many devotees already. Like Gorahari said, we start strong. Uh, usually there are so many days passing before mm, we come to Nityananda Trayodasi, but uh, during this festival, this is the first festival, first festival day, and uh, already we are celebrating uh, Nityananda's appearance day and the initiations. <coughs> I personally feel that this is the best uh, time in which we can uh, receive the sacred initiation and also give the sacred initiation. As you have heard from the two lectures this morning, uh, Lord Nityananda's position is uh, very, very special. Uh, I like very much Nit um, <laughs> Jai Patakas uh, Maharaja's answer when someone asked him, how can we get uh, the mercy of uh, Nityananda? And he answered, how can you avoid the mercy of Nityananda? This should be the question. It, it is so... A, a lot... No, no, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says, what is the only qualification to get the mercy of Nityananda? He says, mm, all those who fall down before Lord Nityananda offering the obeisances, <coughs> Uh, they will certainly obtain the mercy of Nityananda. That's very simple to show respect. It's very simple. So, uh, I must say, from my own experience and watching Prabhupada giving initiations, watching <coughs> my god brothers uh, seeing initiations in ISKCON, I am not so sure that <laughs> this works uh, if we only rely on our own strengths. To bring a conditioned soul back to Godhead or for the conditioned soul to go back to Godhead is really such a mighty project that uh, even Brahma and Shiva will faint <laughs> when they think about the, the uh, tremendous uh, the, the difficulties, the, the obstacles which can appear on the road. And our experience in the Hare Krishna movement shows that so many good uh, souls start with a lot of enthusiasm, the journey, but uh, somewhere, at least in this lifetime, we, we lose, they lose the path again. So watching this as someone who is a disciple and watching this as someone who has been asked to take the function of the Guru, I am very, very... Uh, uh, have become very hesitant to give initiations because whew, the numbers, the statistics of those who make it is very small. Mm. Still I do think it is uh, possible and how this is possible I will uh, explain in the lecture a little later but not on our own strengths. <laughs> <laughs> alone <laughs> we don't stand much chance there must be a <coughs> divine uh, agent there who takes care that we are moving forward who carries us so to say so I'm very enthusiastic about this uh, uh, ceremony I know all those who take the second, the first initiation and the second initiation. I know them personally and I, I'm sorry I haven't, it was not always very easy before I accepted you. Uh, I know that, uh, but 
I think you understand my hesitation is uh, was because I'm I'm just how can I ignore what my eyes and my mind and my my experiences tells me so but uh, with all of you I'm really happy uh, I know one of you couldn't make it uh, they were denied an entry visa into Germany and I'm sorry but don't worry it will be given uh, uh, later uh, Nietzsche and Ander decided this is not the time so it will be given as soon as possible good so I want to ask all of you to now let us enter the sacred uh, room which a yagya is uh, opening for us let us also for those of you who have been uh, who are initiated I would like to encourage you to do something very beneficial for you why don't you recommit ah what is recommitment? It means you have committed once, you have taken the initiation vows, but perhaps you feel like many devotees, it would be nice to, you know, renew my commitment and you can use this, you can participate like this in the ceremony, but over everything else I request you to shower your good wishes on these uh, devotees who take today their sacred initiation vows and obtain an, uh, a possibility, an opportunity to really uh, move forward with uh, renewed strength. So please, your good wishes are uh, required. Fine, with this I want to uh, asked Vasudev, our Pujari, to continue guiding us through the ceremony. What we will do next, he will explain to us. Hare Krishna. It's <coughs> the first initiated one. Everyone has an egg beast already? Everyone has? An egg beast? Who don't have, please put on your neck beats three times. Just seen you. Um, just to be sure, we have three rows of neck beads. Yes, it's everyone. One, two, three. If it's not, then you can correct that uh, later. You know, uh, 
there is this um, yeah I always feel when we enter a, a ritual which this is then it's good if we drive by the by the laws of the, by the traffic laws of that ritual because then it, it it works you know very well good okay now we will do Achman and that's everyone in front of you have a cup we do the panchapata for everyone a cup with a spoon okay first you take the spoon with your right hand you put one drop in the left hand just to make it fast and then one drop in the right hand and then we first we chant the mantra together okay just to say just that you know what you have to do now first we chant the mantra and then now when we chant on Keshava and Amad and we sip you know the mantra very well sip the water and this doesn't mean drink but sip and then we'll draw, okay and then again we purify the right hand on Keshava and Amad on Nava and Amad on Madhava and Amad okay so we chant the mantra together please Om Om Abhidra Abhidra Abhidrova Abhidrova Abhastam Gatobiva Gatobiva Ya Smare Smare Undari Kaksham Undari Kaksham Savaya Savaya Bhna Abhyantara Shuchi 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 Vishnu Shri Vishnu Purify the hand. Om Narayana Namaha. Om Narayana Namaha. Om Madhavaya Namaha.
Maharaj, maybe now is your time. Yes, I, thank you very much. Can you please open the CC at the page? Hello. Krishna. Recite with me the pranam mantras. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vesaya Bhutale Himate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavari Paskatyane Satarine Sri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nityananda Sri Jayatam Surato Pango Mamamanda Mategati Matsava Svabadam Bojo Radha Madana Mohano Radha Madana Mohano Shishi Radha Madana It is with great happiness and perhaps the same or similar excitement that all of us feel that I invite you now uh, to enter the sacred space of the sacred initiation. Mm, you know, this initiation is given in our Sampradaya, our specific line of teachers. Uh, it is done according to those guidelines which are set down in uh, the ancient Shastras and it uh, marks a very important turning point in the life of a disciple. You might uh, ask, yeah, but most of them have already chanted, uh, most of them have already followed four rules and regulations. Most of them, at least tried, uh, most of them have already uh, done devotional service. So how is this particular day a turning point? How is it an uh, uh, event that is uh, divides the life and life before initiation and life after initiation. Mm, the, the answer lies in the word commitment. At the time of our initiation we commit to the path. It is only in commitment when the more subtle things can happen. Think of uh, the commitment which happens between husband and wife. It's no longer just a, a, a partnership. The, the commitment, it becomes something that uh, is the basis of, of a family and future children and f generations to come. Commitment has power in it. 
or if you commit to doing something like a Govardhan Parikrama, it means you will somehow finish it even if uh, your feet are not well, even if it rains uh, or anything, any other obstacle happen. Commitment uh, is uh, heard by Krishna, someone who makes a commitment and he is reciprocating in kind. He accepts actually at the point of initiation, he accepts a person as his own uh, member. There's a beautiful verse in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita which uh, will uh, please and delight you. I want to read it to you. Uh, Diksha kale bhakta kare atma samapana se kale krishna tare kare atma sama At the time of initiation, when a devotee fully surrenders unto the service of the Lord, no? fully surrenders means commitment, Krishna accepts him to be as good as himself. He, in other words, accepts him in his family. He is now a family member. And, and this has serious consequences on the devotee's life, which is expressed in these words. Se deha kale tara chitananda maya aprakrita de tanra charana pajaya When the devotee's body is thus transformed, into spiritual existence. <laughs> the devotee in that transcendent body renders service to the lotus feet of the Lord. I mean, I have never seen, perhaps there are uh, records of this, that someone who <laughs> <laughs> gets up after the initiation has a brilliant spiritual body that shines from here to London, um, <laughs> or the, uh, how can we, uh, can uh, the scriptures say that the body is uh, spiritualized? Well, it is, uh, thank you, it's like this, because Krishna accepts such a devotee who goes through this initiation process as his own it is only a question of uh, time, you know, when the, the, the fully spiritualized body returns back home, back to Godhead. So he is in the process. The spark will now increase and, and increase. Um, however, this can only happen if there is a transformation uh, uh, going on. That that that. It's a science to transform a person. It's not something so simple. Oh, I get a new name, Hare Krishna, Hare Ball, Babu. <laughs> this is not the, the situation. This is not the, the process. Um, uh, uh, um, <laughs> Hare Krishna. Uh, there must be a transformation going on, which, which the scriptures talk about. I read you my favorite verse uh, about this transformation, which has really informed a lot of my uh, thinking, my work, and so on. Mm. A few days ago, a devotee asked me, can we please republish your book on, uh, on transformation? I think the art of transformation in the book and said, please don't do it because at that time I just started my research on how someone can um, have a transformation. Now I uh, want to write the, the book for uh, where all the agents of transformations or that what makes the transformation possible uh, are en enlisted. So here's the, the, the verse which is the, tells you about the transformation. 
Yata kanchanatam jati kamsyam rasa vidanata tata diksha vidanena dvijat vaiva dvijat vam jayate ninam Just like it is possible to transform base metal simple method met, metal into gold Ooh, by an alchemical process so an ordinary human being like Abhishek can become twice born by taking initiation uh, you are the only man who takes uh, first initiation but there are a few who take second initiations just like it is possible to transform base metal into gold by an alchemical process, so an ordinary human being like Ananta Goranga <laughs> uh, can become twice born, woo, best of the Brahmanas by taking initiation. There must be an alchemical process to do this. The, uh, the, the, this transformation doesn't take place by just calling now the ordinary metal, let us say it is metal like this, you are now gold, from this moment on you are gold. <laughs> the, the say, no, I'm, 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 what is it? Brass. I'm not gold. I'm a cheap metal. Uh, not super cheap, but quite cheap metal. Uh, you know. Uh, no, I just gave you a new name. I name, gave you the name gold. Now you are gold. Will it be like this? There must be a process. Al alchemy, I don't want to bore you. Ooh, to read the books. Go to Wikipedia. It's not an easy, cheap thing to turn one uh, metal into another. You have to go against what is called in uh, physics the strong force, that which holds the molecules together so that this is brass. You have to just change that strong force, break it uh, and make it uh, so that the molecules are now in a different, or, or, or atoms are in a different constellation and build gold. It, it's, it's, wow, wow. So the five process, the Bhaktivino Thakur gave us an analysis, what are the five processes that those who desire to become um, unalloyed devotees uh, and worship Krishna uh, th these are the five things which they must do this is the process the verse he quotes is from Padma Purana it's a very interesting verse tapa pundram tata nama mantro yagas yapanchama ami hi pancha sanskara five sanskaras no? Paramat kanti hetava. Madhyama Adhikari Vaishnav in terms of Pancharatika Vidi is one who has been purified by the five kinds of purificatory processes. The Pancha Sanskaras. First, practicing austerity for the sake of the Lord. Second, veering Vishnu Tilak. Third, receiving the holy name of Vishnu. Fourth, accepting initiation into the Gaiti Mantra. And five, performing Yajna for the sake of Vishnu. All of you who are sitting here, you can still decide if you really want to do this. <laughs> it's your last chance. <laughs> no one will be angry at you. Your friends will say, I told you, you should not take initiation from <laughs> Sachinanda Swami. <laughs> Go to Haribol uh, Guru, then he will uh, easily give you, mm, and so on. But yes, 
Hari Bol Guru is nice, but it won't work. You will not receive your goal of of uh, life. I'm, uh, when I said Hari Bol Guru, I did not mean any guru in our movement. I mean meant outside. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the first is tapa, some austerity. What is our austerity which we practice? <laughs> for rules and regulations. You all know them? I think yes, you will have to say them. To her. And we know there are times when it's not easy. We know that. Therefore there are ashrams in which we can approach this. Tapa in previous time, uh, times meant, just so that you know a little history, uh, that one who was initiated was taken like, <laughs> he was burned uh, with the marks of a chakra and of a disc on his shoulder. This was hot iron, it was placed into the fire till it was glowing, then it went into the thing. Because now you would belong like a cow to the uh, to a new owner, no, it's, it's branded. It's called branding. The tattooing is for the for the small-minded people, uh, the, the cats, uh, the, the pimpies. <laughs> this was a real thing of old times. Um, it's not done. See, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has ordered to not do this, but if there are marks, it is used by sandalwood paste, you write down holy names and so on. But tapa means austerity, these four rules and regulations. Second, mm. veering Vishnu Tilak. It's called Urva Pundra and uh, uh, this Tilak is very nicely designed. There are two walls, one and two, here, left and right. It's, it's a Hari Mandir, it's a temple of Lord Krishna and by putting this on your body, you signify my body is now a temple of the Lord. Sitting in the heart, uh, he's my Lord, I want to worship him. He, uh, with this I uh, make myself clear. I do know that some of you may not <coughs> use this tilak during the day because mm, you may have to work Mm, and it's also, we all know, when you sweat, the tea luck looks like my tea luck, interrupted, and so on. Uh, but I would uh, request you to think about the meaning of tea luck every morning after your ba bathroom activity. Uh, what I have I, I am in the happy situation, I'm always dressed like this and live like this, but uh, I remember once when I went to surgery, no, then I put an extra thick tea lug on. <laughs> uh, but there were situations when I went to an official, you know, to collect my passport, and uh, then I put uh, just the water tea lug, and I say, Om Keshavaya Namaha, it protects you. It protects you from Maya's influence. Mm -hmm. It is very, very wonderful to do this. I know um, as our movement slowly turns into a congregational movement, many of these beautiful things are forgotten, but you can put it in water. And why not take the, the benefit of, a, of an ancient tradition? with you, where you place the names of the Lord on the various parts of your upper body. So, wearing Vishnu Tilak, then uh, Nama, receiving the holy name of Krishna, that is done... Uh, actually, the holy name is not dependent on uh, initiation. It can be chanted also without initiation. Mm, but uh, you will get... Uh, what Bhakti Thakur says, 
a spurter name now that indicates your relationship with devotional service. Mm. I became a Sachinandandas, you know, and I still feel like this, a Dasa, Dasa, no? So uh, Sachinandan, that means Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mm, and, and others, Dasa, no? We are uh, getting a name. It's very, very interesting. In this article of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he said, during the time of the Ramanuja Sampradaya, I mean, I say it wrongly, in the Ramanuja Sampradaya, uh, the word Ramanuja Das is uh, added. So let us say a person takes and gets the name Ram Krishna Das, then his full name is Ram Krishna Ramanuja Das. Because by being an in allegiance with the founder of that sampradaya, an extra um, extra connection is made. I remember today His Holiness Bhakti Charu Maharaj, my esteemed God brother, who made all this very sure that uh, those who took initiation understood that they were now more connected, not only to him, but to Srila Prabhupada, the founder of the Acharya. And he did some research into this, based, I believe, on the article of uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur. We, we nowadays also understand that uh, new disciples, they are, they are very, very much connected to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, the founder of the Acharya. So although uh, we will give to name today a name, uh, mm, Govinda Das, it, uh, and the understanding is Govinda Prabhupada Das, uh, we will not uh, make it so explicit. So we are co connected. It doesn't mean that the initiating guru steps back from his responsibility to guide, but he does the in uh, guide his disciples it only means that there is also the grandfather present in the initiation double protection so to say then there is another uh, aspect mantra this refers to the Gayatri mantras um, that pertain to the form of one's worshipable deity especially the 18 syllable mantra which cannot be talked about in in public no. uh, and finally yagya or the worship of hari which we all do for those who take the second initiation we are uh, uh, we strongly recommend that you will worship the lord in fact for one uh, devotee i made it a condition um, uh, when I gave him, uh, he's now sitting amongst us, I will not uh, tell his good name, um, that only if you start worshipping Sheila will you receive from me the second initiation, because your situation is such that it is best for you. But there are other devotees who worship uh, uh, personal home deities, perhaps Gornitai, and those who don't have home deities, no problem, or let us say it is not always even good because mm, you live in a temple, you should sometimes worship mm, the deities in the temple or take part in this because Hari Seva is very important. You know? and, or, here it's called uh, mm, uh, Yagya, uh, it's all in the category of Archana. So five things bring about your, your happy initiation. No? Tapa, you remember the four rules in our case. Uh, then uh, Udva Punda, which means wearing Tilak, somewhere, not just during your initiation day, Abhishek, uh, Tilak is good, it's best ornament. Mm -mm, in life, uh, but I understand when we are very public, it 
can be done with water. You, 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 you say the na names, no? And then the Nama, getting a new name. Uh, then the mantras, which you uh, for for the first initiations, that's the Hare Krishna, Ma Mantra, uh, and then worshipping Lord Krishna in some ways. You can also do this by Sankirtan, Yagya, the uh, Kirtan, Yagya. No, this is important. I sometimes feel, uh, and I have also disciples who are like this, they only are in, interested in one aspect of initiation, that is, when do I get a name? Mm. But, uh, you know, a name anyone can give you, and this won't work, really, if you don't have the other four intact, and therefore you might like to listen to this recorded lecture. It is recorded? Good. Mm -mm. Consider something like health. There are a few ingredients for a healthy body. You do need to eat healthy. You need to sleep. I think those of you who came from America will agree with me that sleep is an important need. <laughs> And then there is a lifestyle, you know, which you need to move, exercises, you need to speak truthful words, you, uh, you know, li a, 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 a lifestyle that is conducive to health. These are the three pillars of health. If you say, no, I'm, I'm healthy, I'm just sleeping, that, that is uh, enough for my health. Uh, it doesn't work, you have to do all the other things. Or let us say, I'm healthy by just eating. You will be unhealthy by just eating. You have to bring all the things together so that you are healthy. In much the same way, if you want to transform your heart and become a happy, ecstatic devotee of Krishna, uh, with a mind that is always above the clouds, as we heard this morning, you uh, need to consider these five elements, which are the five sanskaras in, in life. Yes, uh, having said this, uh, is my message clear? Yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. And we have seen it, we have experienced it. Mm -hmm. You know in your own life, when you do these things, uh, how blissful you are. And you know uh, uh, what happens when you uh, don't do them. Yes, you may be entertained, but not blissful. You're not blissful in the same way. You're not uh, uh, in, uh, on a spiritual level, but on a material level where the so-called happiness quickly turns sour, like sour milk. Mm. Mm. and is no longer relishable. So, good. Uh, please do listen to this class again. I talked in the past about these five sankaras, but I found by Krishna's mercy uh, the original article of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and prepared my talk on the basis of this article. So, it's uh, definitely more complete than what you have heard. Fine. And those who are already initiated, did you hear what you uh, what was in the air? Mm. Uh, Krishna consciousness is a serious process. It will. Uh, it's a science. Prabhupada says it like this. And like a scientific process, gives predictable results. Uh, in the same way, the scientific process of Krishna consciousness will give you uh, the results that are promised. Mm -hmm. Good. What do we do now, Vasa?